guys on the other side of the corn now. Walked over there from the other orchard. There's the barn. Sorry about the sun. Um, we got Sweet 16 here, B118. Grafted this one. Oof. A couple years ago, must have been two springs ago. Planted it last spring and it's grown pretty good. I spent one year in a root trapper bag at home and babied it. I got a pruning video on this one. Um, so this would be its second leaf this spring. Um, and this is just like a line of trees here. There was originally a, a fenced in area here um, that my grandpa had. That was, about 10 trees when I started taking care of them I think 8 of the 10 were dead um, last year you can kind of see a stump of one somewhere in here um, last year that one finally died and I have one more that I'll come up to here in a second that's the left they're small dwarfing trees in there I think they're gophers this is going to be a, a bad spot I have a feeling gophers are just munching on all these trees um, this one's a pristine um, planted spring of 13 it the first year plant it um, must have been the, the, the winter of 13 14 was a brutal one and the tip died it died back just to, and it's probably just above the graph so have this one growing a couple years now um, it's just to the top of the the post there I had quite a bit of wood on it down down below here that I trimmed off about last week um, looks like there's it must be a tip bearer looks like it might flower this spring that would be the first time for that one um, this one if it doesn't grow this spring I'm gonna yank it out of here Spitzenberg or something like that uh, it was a dumb tree I bought my first tree order hasn't done done squat keeps dying back was planted somewhere over there and I finally last spring I moved it over here and it's actually, it actually grew a little bit so maybe with this new location it'll, it'll grow it was planted the same time as that pristine over there and you can see it's died back a couple of years and I almost gave up on it but figured I'll might as well give it a shot um, this is one of the old trees that are here. Keeps dying. Keep trying to pull it up a little bit, but I it didn't produce any apples last year, and I don't know if I'll keep it around much longer. We'll see. That was uh, um, some kind of Macintosh Paul Red, same as the majority of the apples that were here. Um, this one's Frostbite. Again, I think I have a video of pruning this one. Um, it's just to the tip of that that post there. Um, this one was planted spring of 14. It's on B118. Um, dang, gophers have been a problem for this one. I have a feeling it didn't grow much last year because of the damn things. Um, hopefully. I pruned it back quite a bit. Hopefully with that it'll be able to keep up with the roots and I'll keep, keep trapping those dang gophers and see if I can get ahead of them here. Again, painted last fall. Keep sun sculled from getting them. I had that happen to a couple of my trees. Um, the first year I planted, so learned my lesson there. Must have been the trees from the order from the spring of 14. Um, this one, Franklin Cider Apple, new apple, um, some of you guys have probably heard of it. It's supposed to be the, the new thing with the cider guys, so I figured I might as well give it a shot. Um, and that's, that's it, that's B on B118, planted last spring, so it's got a ways to go before it's going to produce anything. So that's the, the line of trees they have here on this side of the corn kind of just straight north of the barn now um, kind of have a, a I had beans planted here for the deer this year burned this burn pile here this winter 
Graham was pretty pleased with that. You can kind of see the house and the, the other shed there now. Um, on the side of the burn pile here, I have clover planted. Let's see if I have enough memory in my phone to make it over to these crab apples over here. I took down, uh, you can see a cedar there that's been growing for years. I haven't had terrible cedar cedar rust problems, but figured might as well take down one that's damn close to the apple trees here. Been cutting down some trees in here in the woods for the deer, and rabbits, and whatnot. This winter, if you can't tell, I'm kind of doing this for the deer, so. Coming into another food plot here. And I have a little pinch point there. Oaks and red pines. This one was planted uh, beans at the beginning of the year and then the deer and didn't get to strain it. So I tilled half of it under this half. I did to, well, I probably shouldn't do that. Um, this half I did to rye and um, radishes and purple top turnips and I left the beans on this other side. Now I'm sure I cut down this one here. Make room for some crabs. Um, planted this one. My first year planting. As you can see, silly me, to the south there, it's all the trees. So doesn't get all that much sunlight. I cut down a bunch of trees this winter. I, Plan on doing some more. They're all oak, so it's kind of tough for me to cut them all down, but I cut down some of them. Um, this one's a Whitney crab um, on B118. I must have lost the tree tag for this one somewhere. Hopefully, it's down in the snow. Um, this was the first year planting, so it must have been spring of 13. Um, last year, it had some apples on it, but it boarded them. Um, I don't know if it was a late frost or what it was. Um, I had to cut the top off when I was pruning this winter because it had kind of died up there. So hopefully that one takes off. It's going to have a little ugly crotch in it, but that's fine. So there's Whitney on B118. I did plant a Dalgo seedling down there. I don't know if it'll ever do anything. There's one somewhere on the other side of that one tree there too and out in the plot here. I don't know if you can tell I kinda I know till the beans into some old standing corn so that's still standing. This one's a chestnut crab. It's a little more sun out here I'm a little ways away from the the woods there. Um, if you can see this guy. Um this puppy has been growing quick so hopefully next year I can get some chestnut crabs I keep hearing from the guys how how awesome they are so um this one let's look here I got a camera overlooking that that tree to see if I can catch any deer eating on it this one was uh grafted in the spring of 14 and I must have planted it spring of 15 so what would that be a good answer yeah fourth leaf, third leaf, I don't know. I don't remember. I guess I should have wrote when I planted it. I just wrote when I grafted it. Come back in my book. See when it is. I'm trying to get these videos out. Having trouble. I'm going to have to download a new app or something. But that's the rest of the the Pepin Orchard here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough. Um, keep following along. We'll kind of keep updating you that's the the neighbors over there and they usually plant crops so thanks for watching have a good weekend guys